Hey Jake, we were tweeting about uh, autosave in Final Cut Pro and I wanted to show it to you. Check this out. Um, so you're working on a project and something crashes horribly, everything gets lost. Or, do, or did it? Um, you mentioned you hadn't really used Final Cut Pro, you were more used to Final Cut Express. Well, check this out. Under the Final Cut Pro menu, if I go down to System Settings, over here is where your scratch disk is set. Now you may or may not have actually set this. It might be set in as some sort of default setting, but hopefully you have it set properly. But down here there's three more things. There's your waveform cache, your thumbnail cache, and the auto save vault. If I were to click on this, it takes me to where my auto save folder actually is set. Now mine is in my user folder, my home folder, documents, Final Cut Pro documents. Yours might be set someplace else. If I double click on the auto save vault, it shows me all of the projects I've recently worked on. Now I'm sorting by uh, date modified, so my most recent one is at the top. And here is my most recent autosave. So this goes back to, uh, let's see. Um, okay, okay, got it. Pull this out like this. It goes back to uh, February 3rd, 2010, and it says it most recently saved it at, uh, what is that, 7.47 p.m military time. So it may actually, uh, there may be hope for lost data if your autosave is actually turned off, uh, turned on. Now it is possible uh, under Final Cut user preferences that you have it turned off. And I know a lot of editors that turn it off just because they find it to be annoying when it automatically goes off every, now mine's set to go off every 30 minutes. But I will tell you, it's a good idea to keep it on. Uh, there is occasion when it will save your butt. If you do lose anything, just go to that autosave folder, open up the most recent uh, saved document, and you may very well uh, be able to save a bunch of your work.